Good morning, guys. I'm gonna just want to do a quick chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm gonna be filming a few videos today. Um, a couple of, I mean, they're not all going out today, but I want to film them all today. So, um, so that's why I'm putting on makeup. I'm not actually going anywhere, but um, I've already um, mixed my foundation and um, done my skincare and now I'm just gonna use a little bit of this new shop miss a this is so focus anyway it's their new color correcting perfection primer illuminator which it isn't this is what it looks like. It's like just a peachy color, which I just dropped some on my dress. And this is why I don't usually get dressed before I do my makeup, but did it anyway. It's um, silicone-y, that's for sure. Oh no, it didn't land on my dress. It landed right smack in the ma middle of my mirror. <laughs> uh. It's definitely a silicone primer. So if you don't like silicone, don't get this stuff. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon too, and just an all over good day, let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm going to use um, all different products today, I think, except for the um, BB cream, because that's the best thing I have right now. I have some other foundations, but I don't like any of them, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to do my eyes first. Try using the whole one, see if it sticks better on the side because side water so much. But everybody got any plans this weekend? I don't. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. Oh. 
think I got them pretty, pretty even. It's hard to tell when my brows aren't even. My eyelids aren't even. Um. I thought I got everything out I needed, but I did not. I forgot my eye primer, which I think I'll use a different eye primer today, too. I'm going to try this. Um, I haven't used it, tried this yet, but the soft base eye primer from... Um, Shop missing. It's got some color to it. Let's see how well it works. Oh, I also changed my brow ring back. I felt like the other one, the bar itself was just too long. This is a light musk color shade, light. Let me find a brush to use here for this. Yeah, Jennifer's on the screen behind me. Yes, she cracks me up. Mm. Yeah. Well, some girls smell better than this one, but both girls smell really good. Really good. Yeah. Hi. I used way too much of this stuff. Now, I'm gonna pause and go. Didn't realize it was gonna go right, so yeah. far. You do not need much of this. Let me pull in this out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Well, you probably didn't even miss me because... It was a, like a second for you, but <laughs> it was actually a few seconds for me. So I wanted to show you guys this um, for those of you who watched the um, Shop Miss A video where I picked up this lip plumper. Check out this tip on it. It's like a bunch of bristles. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. And I'll tell you, it does not um, plump up your lips, period. My lips. But it does make, I don't like that tip at all. It does make, it's a moisturizer too, it says. Um, oh, it's a balm. Conditioning plumping balm. Definitely gave some color to my lips, which was weird, but uh, and it's very glossy. So, let's see if it plumps them up, because I used it last night and I didn't notice any plumping whatsoever. But, 
it is a good balm. It's not not sticky, not thick, nothing like that. So, but I also wanted to show you. See what I did with it. It was laying on this table. Maybe I threw it away. Where in the world did it go? Here it is. Hiding. This line filler. Now the product comes out up here. But you know how much product you get? Enough for two uses. Nothing else in there. I used it last night. And um, this morning. And um, went to put, like, you know, it doesn't give you instructions or anything, but I, so I took the tip off because I thought maybe it was clogged, but no, it's empty. There was only enough in there for two uses. I'm like, really, Shamase? You couldn't fill the whole pan up? Even halfway? Two uses. Made me, made me mad. Because <laughs> I spent some money on it. Well, not a lot of money, but I spent some money on it. And I bought several of them. And so, I think they should work. When you take your money, spend it on something, it should work. I'm going to be using this um, Ciate London palette, the boxy, boxy charm probably, but it's really pretty. Um, I don't have very many brushes clean still, so I'm picking and choosing which ones I want to use. I guess I'll use this one. Um, see, that's what I think of um, do my lips look plumper? But they're much more moisturized, so I'm okay with that. Because they were getting dry. Hope you guys were all able to enter my giveaway. I don't have a lot of people's names down, so if you want to enter, you need to go find that video and um, enter. So if you don't watch my videos all the way through, you probably don't even know that uh, it's going on. It ends on Sunday, so. Sunday evening, probably around 5, we'll film that video, picking the winner of that giveaway. And I <laughs> had a hard time finding a box to fit it all in. But then I got that Shop Miss A order and it came in a box. And that thing is full. So whoever wins is going to be happy. And I threw some other stuff in there that wasn't in the video. So... I just used this shade on my whole lid. I think I'm going to deepen it up in the crease with, the, well, 
I'm going to deepen it up a little bit with this one here. I tried to mess with the lighting this morning to try to give better lighting. So I hope that you guys can see a little better. Um. For those of you who've been watching my other get ready videos, you guys know I've been having problems with the, our apartment um, coming and fixing that toilet, our toilet, and um, fixing my mail, our mailbox. Well, yesterday morning I called them, and I'm like this. She was like, "Hello." How can I help you? And I said, this is Heather Riley from apartment 539. And she's like, yeah, we know. You're you're on, you're on our list. And I was like, go when are you going to get to me? And she said, when we get to you? So I said, no, that's not okay. I said, I can't go downstairs. I said, I'm handicapped. And I have large intestines and no, only half a bladder. I said, I need that bathroom. Otherwise, I cannot go downstairs. I'm stuck in my room because I cannot make it back up the stairs usually fast enough to get to the bathroom on time. And so, and, I, and then I was like, and we need our mail. We need to be able to get our mail. Like, fix our mailbox. This is, that work order got put in two weeks, two weeks ago. She's like, okay, well, I'll call maintenance. I said, well, fine, call me back when you know when they're coming. And she said, okay, I will. And she, and she got real nice after I had to get on her ass about it. Like, you're not just going to get to us when you get to us. We need done now. Like, five minutes later, maintenance showed up. <laughs> And we have video cameras all over the house so that if I'm ever alone, the kids can check on me, you know, have one here in my bedroom. We have one on each flight of the stairs. We have one on the front door, one in the garage. And when maintenance came, Michelle and me were up here in my room and they said um, he was trying to clean out unclog the toilet with one of those hose things and you could hear him banging on it and so we turned on the camera we, act, we couldn't see him but we could hear their conversation because Travis was downstairs trying to uh, help you know or watch make sure nothing got damaged or taken and all that kind of stuff because you never know about people and um he had the hardest time getting that hose through. Um, and so he used a camera to see what was in there. And it was a piece, it was a piece of glass about that big, of broken clear glass. And he's like, what did you guys flush down the toilet? And, my, and Travis was like, nothing but water, I mean, from the fish tanks. And so apparently there was some glass or something in one of Michelle's, which she doesn't have tanks yet, the fish are in buckets. But um, because she brought them with her from Texas, but she we couldn't afford to get ship all the tanks too, so we have to buy new tanks. And, um, 
so he's like, well, you, Travis told him there was nothing in it. It was just water because she siphoned it out of the bucket with a siphon tube. So a piece of glass that big couldn't have been, I guess, in the bucket. I mean, in the toilet. So we have no idea where that piece of glass came from. And we've been here since August and just started having problems with that toilet. And he's like, well, he says, things happen when you get drunk. I've clogged up toilets by sticking stuff down them when I was drunk. And Travis is like, we don't have any alcohol in this house. And the guy says, well, not anymore. And then he started talking about the toilet and we couldn't understand every word they were saying but um he started saying something about how we were gonna have to pay for a new toilet and i was like uh no no we're not gonna have to pay for a new toilet <laughs> so took my happy little behind downstairs <laughs> and um Yesterday, I was not feeling good, and he looks at me, and he's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, actually, I'm I'm not right this second, but I will be. And he's like, are you sure? Like, I'm like, yes, I'm sure. What is your problem? And I was like, so what happened? The toilet broke? He's like, oh, no, we got, we broke, I broke it up with the hose, and it's, it's gone now gone gone he says and I was like oh and it went to sewer heaven <laughs> he says yeah it went to sewer heaven and then I was like when are you guys gonna do the mailbox thing you know like fix our mailbox and he, and Travis showed me the keys so he apparently had done that before he got here and I was like well I was say, oh good. He says, whoever installed that lock on there is an idiot. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's like, was there something wrong with it? He's like, yeah, they didn't install it right. And the thing was, and the whole lock was rusted out. Like, and that doesn't happen in a year. That happens over 10 years. Like, he says, they never should have put that lock back on your that lock on your mailbox so i was like yeah i knew it wasn't our fault <laughs> so now we have they put a brand new lock on there and they gave us two keys for it and he took one of the keys to the front office to keep up there <laughs> it's like yeah i know you guys <laughs> Well, you guys, they didn't believe me that, you know, I don't know what in the world. It's like a different color or something. And I never, I mean, I always clean my brushes, not after I use them, but before I use them again, I clean them. So they're always, always use clean brushes. So I don't know where that color is coming from. I have a friend coming in town and um, we are going to um, I think I'm going to go in with this one right here in the center and see what it looks like if it doesn't pop enough I might add some of that but I'm going to put some glitter glue on there real quick um Oh, my friend. Yeah, my friend's coming in town. She's going to be here on the 5th. And, 
we're going to go do a bunch of stuff. So, I might do a little vlogging. I might also, I mean, I will do some hauls because we're going to go to lots of places. Mainly, the one I'm most excited about is Dollar Tree, Goodwill, uh, places like that that are affordable because I can't afford to spend much money when I, I don't get full disability, I get partial disability or supplemental disability, so money is tight for me. It's tight for Michelle too. They pay her to be my caregiver, but they it doesn't doesn't pay what like it doesn't give her any extra money after she pays rent and phone and all that stuff. Utilities, which she is they're not making her pay as much as they pay, but the my boys, but um. She does have to get, start working on getting some tanks for her fish. And then we're going to probably, if any of you guys are interested in that, we're probably going to film setting up those, maybe one or two of those tanks. Like how she does it and all that kind of stuff. And I think... Um, because she has so many fish that um, it's probably going to take about 10, 10 tanks to properly give them fish a home. And... Um, the reason there's going to be so many of them is because um, she, I, I called the off when I talked to the office yesterday for the maintenance stuff. I asked her if we were allowed to have fish tanks because we told Michelle when she moved in, if they don't let you keep the fish and the bird, then you're... It's either you or them, because <laughs> we, we can't afford to lose our home, which she understood. We told her that before she brought them over, and, uh, but they said the largest we can have is 10 gallons, because we, we have a first, second, and third floor, and, um, Travis, Travis's room is on the first floor, and, um, so is the laundry room and the garage, and then on the second floor is the kitchen and dining room. Sorry about that. You know what happened? My phone turned off on me. Uh, that was weird. Oh, I got a message yesterday from, like, was that a message? My doctor called me, and I answered the phone. And then, um, after that, I tried to make the phone call to call the maintenance to find out when they were coming and tell them they needed to come, like, today. And, um, went to make a phone call, and it sent me to AT&T. And so I was like, what? So I was like, well, maybe it's just, maybe they're having phone problems at the office. And so then I went and I, um, I, um, tried to call Matthew to see if he would help me figure it out because he pays my phone bill and he, um, yeah, he pays my phone bill, 
and I got an automated message yesterday saying my bill had been paid. So why wasn't my phone working? So I, I tried to call him and I couldn't call him. It went to AT&T. So I tried to call Michelle and it went to AT&T. So I, I went to Matthew's room, which is just across the hall. I don't have to do any stairs or anything. But, um, they, uh, he tried to figure it out and we couldn't because in the, he looked it up in his account and everything looked fine. So I was like, fine, well, I guess I'll have to call, uh, you know, do the AT&T thing because apparently they, um, want something from me because they're still I mean because they're forwarding all my outgoing calls like Matthew called me and it went through so it was just the outgoing calls that we were having problems with and um So I called, they had me on hold for 45 minutes. And then I told her what was going on with the lady, what was going on. And she's like, oh, that's because your phone's no longer compatible with our network. And I have a really nice phone. It's got like a fingerprint print scanner pad on it. And um, a huge amount of storage and a good camera you know for a cell phone it's a good camera and um i said you know i don't know why it wouldn't be and she goes well july 22nd we're switching to 5g and i said well okay and she's like but the the actual reason why we we, we need you to contact us is because we want to give you a free phone I was like, the last time I got a free phone, it was from of Obama, <laughs> and it's a piece of crap. <laughs> so I said, um, just a minute, I had to talk to my son, so, because I know nothing about phones. I do not know what's up with my phone. It stopped again, and I didn't know where I was at talking about this phone thing, but anyway, my son ended up looking up to see you know how what the prices were like on phones and he found one that had enough storage well the same amount of storage i have now which is a lot i don't know how much but it also has the fingerprint scanner except it's on the screen instead of the back of the phone it also has a front and rear camera and like everything I need that to continue making videos and I'm like but how much is it Matthew and he's like $600 I was like you know I don't even have six dollars for sure 600 he said mom I know that he says I'm gonna pay half and Travis gonna pay half and I was like um Thank you. Like, I gave him a big hug, and I said thank you. And I was like, do you want me to ask Travis, or did you already talk to Travis? And he's like, no, Travis is paying half. And so they bought me a new phone. That is teal. Yay. I'm excited to get it. Um. So, anyway, that was that story about the phone stuff. The other day, in my Boxy Charm, Boxy Lux video, if you have not seen that, go watch that video. It's a good video. Um, well, it's a good and bad video. I was not happy with some of the products I got in that box. So... I don't really know how to use this, but I'm going to try. This is, um, 
brow brow styler it's got wax on one end and powder on the other so we're going to see what this is about My girl Jennifer. I love her to death. She sent me another friend mailbox. Which, uh, you know, I told her not to do that, but. You know, I, um. I've already got a box ready for her, too, so I can't, can't really say much about that. I tell someone to stop sending you stuff, and you keep sending it to them. It, they don't, she, she's not going to listen to me anyway. Not when it comes to that. She, she's a good listener, though. She's a really good friend of mine. Probably one of my best friends. Well, she is. I have one. I only have one other friend, and I consider them both besties. I had a, my cousin, who uh, lived in Colorado, was my best friend since I was a little girl. And two years ago, on August 22nd, I believe, she passed away she was only 37 but she passed away in her sleep okay guys i went ahead and finished my makeup um i didn't want this video to be too long so um this is what it's looking like put on some lipstick um i think it's tart but i can't read the bottom of it if anybody knows I have no idea I can't read it it's called maple mauve that's the color of it but I can't read what brand it is um, and I use NARS blush in orgasm and I used this highlighter right here from Kinder Glow. Um, bronzer. What kind of bronzer did I use? Oh, I threw it away because I don't like it. It's a. It's the first time I used it, but it's a matte bronzer, but it's really, really orange, and I don't, I don't like that real orange so that's going in the trash Kim shot my say um, I'm sure it looks good on some people but not, no thank you um so let me show you what I'm wearing I got this dress from um rainbow a while back but this is the first time that that I've used it. Move my mirror, it's kind of blocking the camera a little bit. So this is the dress, and it goes up to my knees. You obviously can't see that far, but yeah, that's what my clothes look like. Um, uh, we will see you soon in the next video. Bye, guys.